Okay, I am going to walk you through the calculations of how to find, um, how to determine how much sodium bicarbonate versus sodium carbonate is in a mixture. Okay, now the, the, when we ran the heated heated reaction, the decomp reaction, the only chemistry that actually took place is that the sodium bicarbonate decomposed into sodium carbonate and water and carbon dioxide. Okay, so that's the only chemical reaction that took place. And the only change in mass is going to be represented right here by the loss of the water and the carbon dioxide. Now what I have here is some sample data. Um, here's the mass of the crucible in the cover, the mass of the crucible cover in this initial sample, what the sample was initially, after heating one and after heating two. And what's going to be really important is going to be this value right here. I don't think it will let me highlight right now. Um, but this value right here, the 0.216 grams, which is the mass of the water and the carbon dioxide. And we got that from taking the um, heat after heating number two and subtracting the crucible and the cover. And that's where we ended up with um, are 0.216. Okay, so if your data came out really funky and you your mass went up or something like that, use this data for your calculations so that you can at least have something tangible to talk about next week. Okay, so I am going to use this 0.216 and this is super, super simple and some of you already figured it out, but this over here is going to be 0.216 grams. Now, we're going to be able, if we can figure out how much sodium hydrogen carbonate we started with, then we can work backwards from the mixture. So this 0.216 grams essentially is going to represent one, what we're going to do is all of this product, and we're going to consider all of this product to kind of be one mole of one giant molecule. And if we take the molar mass of water, water is going to be 18.02 grams per mole, and if we add it to carbon dioxide, which is 44.01 grams per one mole, we can kind of get this total molar mass for this substance of 62 grams per mole. So, I think you know where I'm going here. Um, the first step with this 0.216, kind of put a little divider here, is that I need to take the 0.216 grams of, you know, I'm just going to say water and carbon dioxide and we're going to convert it to moles by dividing it actually that'd be 62.03 wouldn't it okay taking one mole of my super product so to speak dividing it by the molar mass which is 62.03 grams so I get 0.216 divided by 62.03 okay what I end up with here is a mole of one product however that's not all the math I have to do because if I come up here I had one mole of my super product out here but I started with two moles of the sodium hydrogen or uh, sodium um, bicarbonate so what I have to then do is multiply that by two moles of sodium bicarbonate divided by, by one mole of water and carbon dioxide water carbon dioxide so now I take 0.216, I divide it by 62.03, I multiply that by 2, and that tells me that I get point, and I'm going to go with three sig figs here, 0, 0, 0696 moles of sodium bicarbonate. So now once I have it to moles, all I then have to do is go from moles to grams of my sodium bicarbonate. So I take that, uh, 0 0.00696 moles of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. I'm going to find the molar mass, which should be somewhere around 84.01. So 84.01 grams divided by one mole. And that is going to get me to 0.585 grams. Okay, so now I have a tangible amount with which to start with. So now, if I just go back and compare that to my original value, and again, I'm going to go back to the data. Here's the original amount that I had was um, 1.33 grams. Remember, you're trying to figure out the percentage for these. So all I have to do to figure out the percentage of sodium hydrogen carbonate is take 0.585, divide it by the original um, 
1.33, multiply it by 100, and I end up with 43.9% sodium hydrogen carbonate, and then I just subtract that from 100 to get um, sodium carbonate. Now what I would like you to do for Tuesday is make sure that you have a set of calculations in your lab notebook. I don't care, well I would like it to be with your data. If your data, the mass went down, try this with your data. If not, at least copy this data set and this um, calculations into your lab notebook and then it'll allow us to on Tuesday to finish up the lab by doing um, a review of someone else's lab report as well as kind of having a final discussion. So anyway, I hope